Hey guys, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all taking the necessary precautions. I hope you're all staying home as much as possible and I hope you're all safe and healthy. I thought I'd pop on here today and film myself stuffing my cash envelopes since um, if you're anything like me, you're watching an awful lot of YouTube lately. So I thought I would try to get a couple more videos up for you. So if you're new here to my channel, we use the cash envelope system and we spend mostly in cash. So every two weeks when my husband is paid, I make up a little slip showing the money that I need. I take it to the bank and I get the denominations I need. I come home and I stuff it all in our envelopes. It's pretty simple. I'm going to link a video up here for you guys, which is going to explain all about the cash envelope system. If you don't know how it works or if you're new to this, I will also link a bunch of other videos down below because I've done a couple of these videos in the past. So if this is something you like watching, you can check those out as well. All right, so first things first, I usually write my check and fill out a little piece of paper telling the tellers exactly what I need. So that's what I did this morning. I went to the bank. However, the lines were so long. I'm assuming most people are trying to just use the drive through at this time. So I ended up just hitting the ATM machine instead. And to my surprise, we had gotten a brand new ATM machine and we were actually allowed to choose our denominations on it. I know there were machines like that, but I've never seen them before. So that was kind of fun. I was still able to get pretty close to the amounts that I needed except for ones. They didn't have ones in the machine, but that's not a problem. I usually only use those to pay my kids their commission. So let's go ahead and just fill the envelopes. If you've seen some of my cash envelope videos before, then you might notice I have a lot less cash envelopes this time. That is because we have drastically reduced our budget in light of everything going on. We just wanna make sure that we are spending as little as possible and keeping as much money as possible in the bank just in case we need it. A couple days ago, I made a video all about doing a bare bones budget. You can check that one out when you're done watching this video. I'm gonna leave the link down below. And this is really going to show you how you can adjust your budget if you're struggling with money or maybe you are experiencing a loss of income right now and you really need to try and come up with as much extra money each month. That video is going to walk you through it. So if you already saw that video, then you may notice I am filling more envelopes than I talked about in that video. That is because my husband's pay came in a little bit higher than we anticipated. So I was able to fill a couple more envelopes this week than we originally planned on doing. So let me show you what I'm working with here. So here's my setup. I just kind of put out all my envelopes, my list of what I need and my money over here. And of course, coffee. All right, guys, I'm trying to get you so that my entire head is not cut off. I don't want you to have to just look at like a talking mouth the whole time, but this seems to be the best that I can get it for right now. All I do is kind of go down my list and put the money in there. The first one I have is lunch money. I'm putting $5 in this this week. I actually don't know why. I thought I put this one down to zero. We're not really going anywhere. So this will probably just sit here and wait until our kids are back in school if they're ever back in school this year, and then it'll go towards my son's lunch money for school. So I'm gonna go ahead and put $5 into the lunch envelope. And then when I'm done, I usually mark the amount and the date here on the register, but I'm just going to put them to the side for now and I'll take care of those at the end of the video. Next is kids commissions. I'm only putting $5 in here as well. I already have a couple bucks in here. Next is vehicle expense. I'm putting 25 in here and we just keep this money for when we need oil changes. We kind of use it for inspections or if anything small happens to our car. If anything big would happen, we would actually have to dip into our emergency fund. So 25 in the car envelope today. Doctor and medication, I'm only putting 10 in. I was originally planning on putting more in just in case somebody did get sick right now or needed prescriptions, but there was already a couple bucks in here that I didn't realize, so I think we'll be fine with 10 for now. Sam's Club, I'm going to go ahead and put 20 in. We do get a lot of food items and household items from Sam's Club, so I do like to keep a couple bucks in this envelope in case something comes up that we need. Pet expenses, I had originally cut this envelope in my April budget video, but I decided to add this back in when my husband got paid a little bit more because 
My little dog struggles a lot with allergies come the spring, so I have a feeling she'll be needing another prescription sooner than later. So I'm gonna go ahead and put $25 in the pet expenses envelope. Next is toiletries. And this is just in case anybody needs deodorant or toothpaste or any of those necessities. And that was just $10 in the toiletries envelope. Next I have gifts. I'm only putting $15 in the gifts right now. That's one of the categories that I adjusted this paycheck just simply because I want to make sure we had a little bit extra money in our budget. So 15 in gifts. And the last envelope I have for right now is kid stuff. And I'm going to put $20 in the kid stuff envelope. And that's just in case there's anything that we want to get for our kids while we are kind of stuck here in the house. If you guys are having a hard time trying to figure out things to do for yourself while you're bored at home, I made this video last week. You can check it out. It will give you 59 ideas of things you can do when you're bored. And I will leave that link for you down below. So the last couple of expenses that I need to fill here today would be my personal money, my husband's personal money, and our spend slash miscellaneous envelope. Uh, we kind of call, call it either or. So my husband already took his personal money. He likes to take it the second that comes out, he wants his money. And we only get our personal money once a month, not once every paycheck. So he took $65 for himself and I get $60 for my personal money. So here's 60 for me and I'm gonna put that off to the side and then we have $50 that we are going to put in our miscellaneous. So that is for anything that comes up over the next two weeks that kind of doesn't fit into one of the other categories that you already saw me show. That way we have that to just cover any of those expenses. It's taken care of, it's budgeted for, and if something does come up, we don't have to take it out of our regular money that's sitting in the bank for bills. Now I'm going to fill out all of the registers just so I am keeping good track of what money is in the envelopes because I like to have a good idea of what's in here and what the money was used for. Okay, so that is our entire process of how we fill our cash envelopes. It's really simple. I know it kind of seems like it's a pain, but it really only takes me the time it takes to go to the bank and probably about 15 minutes to count all the money, stuff all the envelopes and mark it all down. It's super fast and over the past three years, it has helped us so, so much with our debt-free journey, with our budgeting journey and really just reducing our spending because it makes you so much more aware of the money you're spending. When you're just swiping a credit card or even a debit card, it's so easy to just swipe that piece of plastic and sometimes you just aren't able to keep a good mental track of how much you're really spending. That's why when you open that credit card bill, you're like, oh, how did I spend that money? It was only a couple dollars here and a couple dollars there, but it really truly does add up. But when you're using a cash envelope, it makes it so much more tangible. You are taking the actual money out of the envelope. You are handing the actual money to the cashier and then you're writing on the envelope how much you spent and you can see that total go down, down, down. And then when the money's gone, you're done spending in that category until the time comes for you to fill up that envelope again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you found any value in it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know if you do use cash envelopes. And if you don't, what kind of method do you use? Do you use other cash spending? Do you just use your credit card? It's cool, no judgment here. This is what works for us, but I know it may not work well for a lot of other people. So one last thing, if you do like these envelopes that we use here for our family, you can grab them for yourself. I'm gonna leave the link down below. And it's just a printable template that I have available in my Etsy shop. And I just print it on colored paper because I like to have them all different colors. Have the template forever and you can print them over and over and over as often as you like. 
and you can print them on any kind of paper that you like. They're real easy to use, I love them. Every time they get messed up, I just print a new one. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate you. I hope you'll subscribe and I hope to see you back here next time. Take care of yourself and stay healthy. Bye.